seriously? Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to... The Sojo Show! show. Oh, coming in hot there, buddy. <laughs> oh. Yeah? Yeah. So I, I, I'm meeting an incredible person later. He's, he's coming over after the show today and I'm a bit nervous. Okay, I'm a lot nervous. Who is it? It's my favorite long distance runner, Sid Post Fontaine. Long distance running. I cannot think of a more exciting sport. Right! Right? The commitment it takes to compete in marathons? Sure, it's 26 miles. Uh, point two. 26 point two That's miles. It's a long way. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and Sid is really changing the sport. I mean, I mean, here, here. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Okay. Mm. Ah. Yeah. So this is mile six. Hear the breathing. <sighs> okay. Okay. And now here's mile 13. You hear the difference? I really don't. Oh, no. Okay, well, listen to this. Here's mile 21. I still don't hear it. I'm sorry. I don't. Really? Yeah. Really? Really, really? Really, really. I don't. Oh, yeah, it's okay, like okay, okay. Here, let me slow it down, all right? Ready? <clears throat> hear that? Yes. Does that sound any different? Well, yeah, it's slowed down. Okay, now listen to mile 13. Hear that? Wait. What? There is no way that is the same sound. Yeah, exactly. It's and wait, the same as before? Yes, wait right. for it, wait for it. Mile 21. No way! Are you serious? That's the same sound? Yes before? way, yes way! Okay. I stand corrected. Oh, that was pretty amazing. Sid Post Fontaine is totally amazing. There's, there's no way I'm gonna know what to say to him. Well, what would you want to say? Uh, well, I'd want to tell him how much he has inspired me. How how I used to be scared of running, but now I want to do it. That that I'd always want to give up, but now with every step, I know that if I have a plan in place, that I can get better at it. That's great. Yeah, and I'd want to tell him that I love watching him run. He moves with such grace that it, if he started to fly, it would not surprise me. Oh, see, that's beautiful. I, I would love to hear that if I were him. Well, I, I mean, here, watch this clip. Oh. say to every person watching today to stick with it. You can do amazing things. Thank you. Incredible, right? Huh? I mean, I can never just talk to him. He looks a lot like me, right? What? No, no, nothing at all. I mean... Hmm? No! He has a mustache. Okay. I, you know what? I... I just remembered, I have to go. Go? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, uh, where, where? I'll be back before we tell the Bible story. You can handle things until then, right? Well, I guess I... Uh, Great, okay, good, thanks. Well, that was weird. <laughs> so, um, well, I, I guess I could kind of try to prepare myself for when... Come in. Hello, John, it's me, Sid. I guess I'll just come on in and have a seat. I know you've been excited to meet me, and I've been excited to meet you, so I decided to come really early. How, how are you? you? You can just talk to me. Oh. You're on good. 
John! Huh? It's just me! What? You do look like him. It's Bible story time! Hey everybody! How's it going? Not bad, how are you two? Good, did you realize Brandon looks just like Sid Postfontaine? I don't see it. Uh, what? You have got to be kidding me. Right? That is crazy. John is meeting Sid later and he's really nervous about meeting him. Yeah. Oh, I get that. It can sometimes be a little scary or overwhelming to talk to one of your heroes. Absolutely. But it doesn't have to be. That's sort of what our Bible story is about today. But instead of talking to a person, we'll be talking to God. Oh, Awesome. Take it away. All this month, we're learning about the kind of skills that can help our faith grow. This week specifically, we're talking about making a commitment to pray to God. One of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, wrote down a sermon Jesus gave from the side of a mountain. During the sermon, Jesus gave us an example of how we should pray to God. It starts like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Wow, what a start. Jesus begins by praising God's name. And why not? God is awesome. And then Jesus asks for God's kingdom to come. That means we want things on earth to be more like the things of God. And to help us remember, here are two of my favorite people, Jackie and Dee Dee the Cheer Squad. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, Dee Dee? Are you ready to say some prayers? Ooh, how do we do that? Just like Jesus told us. <gasps> Stay oh. When you pray to God, don't be scared. It's just your thoughts and thanks you share. Honor God's name and give Him praise and ask our world to be like heaven's ways. Woo! Exactly. We should honor God when we pray. We don't have to say the exact words Jesus said. We can praise God in our own way. But remember, that was only the beginning of Jesus' prayer. He went on, Give us today our daily bread. I don't think that means that Jesus wants us to eat a lot of bread every day, but he does want us to ask God for the things we really need and then trust God to provide them. Tell us more, cheer squad. Hey, Dee Dee. Yeah, Jackie. You can ask God for what you want. Oh, I don't know. But I'll definitely ask for what I need. Oh! When you pray, like Jesus said, you should pray for daily bread. Ask for the things that you will need and you will find your heart is free. Yes, when you truly put your trust in God, it can help your heart feel less worry and more peace. Here's how Jesus finished his prayer. And forgive us our sins, just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. We all do things we know we shouldn't do. We can be unkind, we can disobey, we can break rules. Jesus says we should ask God to forgive us for those times we mess up, just like we're supposed to forgive other people. And we should ask God to help us to be better. So wrap it up for us, Jackie and Dee Dee. Okay, Jackie, are you ready to talk to God one more time? No, 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 Dee Dee. I'm ready to talk to God every day. I heard that. May you make the earth just like heaven is. P-R-A-Y, God, you are king. We trust in you for everything. P-R-A-Y, God, you forgive. Help us to grow and help us to live. P-R-A-Y, God, you are great. So we'll talk to you each and every day. Amazing job! Thanks, Cheer Squad! Let's see Jesus' prayer one more time. 
Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, just as we have also forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. Jesus gave us an example for how to pray. And if you want to say the words Jesus said, that's great. But if you want to say different words, that's great too. The important thing is that we make a commitment to pray to God. Wow, that's great. Yeah, and great job, cheer squad. I love that we can talk to God. I know, it's incredible that we get the chance to talk to the creator of the universe. And it doesn't have to be scary or overwhelming. Just be yourself. And if you've already made a habit of praying, keep it up. If you haven't, you can start today. That's so great. Hey, thanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Later. Tell Sid I said hello. Okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Wow, we can actually talk to God. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Uh, I love it. Father in heaven, may your name be honored. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. Our what are you doing right now? I'm trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to commit Jesus' prayer to memory so I can talk to God. Oh, that's awesome. Uh -huh. But you know, you can use your own words too, right? You don't have to just say <laughs> Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, there are lots of different ways to pray to God. I can't believe you didn't know that. Oh, I knew. Reveal the question. That. How do you pray to God? It, okay, I like to pray in the morning before I get out of bed. It's a great way to start the day. I sometimes like to pray right before I go to sleep. Mm. It's, it's a great time to tell God what happened during my day. Right, no matter where you pray, if it's out in nature or on the way to school, you can use Jesus' prayer to help you know how you can talk to God. Absolutely, so start talking. Yeah. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yes. Bye. Bye. Uh, I don't know who you are. Ow. No. Hey, ow. No. Hey, what Come are on. you? Ah. Come on. Ow. Come on. Ow. Ow. Sid? Yes! It's so nice to meet you.